classic Rome, and there's modern Rome, and there's something in between, and there's actually no other city like it, right? It really is. It's, it's almost like it's a bucket list city. If oh, you've never been sure. there, you have to go there. And a lot of people think, oh, I'm Catholic, I need to go there. No, you need to go there if you're anybody who lives in the world because Western civilization started there. And it's it's such, it's a fun city. Yes. Uh, it's easy to get around, and we're going to talk about that as well. Wouldn't right. you say that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Friendly, we're going to talk about that too. But here's what I have to say overall. My impression, 30,000-foot view. You are in Rome. Okay, here you are. You're walking next to ruins from B.C. era. There's all these ruins. Ancient buildings. And then you're walking next to things that are modern-day same century, here we are actually in 2019, about to be 2020, and that is what you're, you're doing. I mean, it's like food, wine, people, architecture blended together from ancient to modern. It's amazing, it's actually amazing. And you touch the modern part because when you look at the cuisine that is there, and we're gonna get into the cuisine as well, and we have it here, we've got the pasta, we've got the the tomatoes, we have the cheese. Aroma we tomatoes. Have, we have the wine. And <laughs> Catch the, <a> pepe. <laughs> the Mediterranean diet, as we talk about, is one of the healthiest diets you could ever have. And when you're there, that's all you do is the Mediterranean diet. And it is fabulous. It's it's one of the best cities. Now you you've been there before, because you were there on your honeymoon. I was actually there as a college student. And I can't say a ton has changed, but it's still into the modern era. Absolutely. Yeah, a lot has changed, but nothing has changed.